Now, it's controversial news on the eve of the big climate change conference in Copenhagen. All this while, we, while we've believed that Himalayan glaciers are receding because of global warming. But a new report by India's Environment Ministry says that's not true. They say that glaciers are actually expanding, findings that are in direct conflict with the doomsday predictions forecast by the UN Panel on Climate Change. Pallav Bagla has the story. It could be a controversy of Himalayan proportions. The government has today debunked the UN Climate Change Panel report saying its doomsday prediction on glaciers is wrong. The 2007 IPCC report said the Himalayan glaciers are receding faster than in any other part of the world and at the current rate of global warming, they may disappear altogether by year 2035 or even earlier. Now the government report contradicts that with a warning by the minister not to be alarmist. We don't want, need to be alarmist like the IPCC was. We don't need to write the epitaph for the glaciers. I think the truth is incredibly complex. The government report is based on a study of a dozen or so glaciers though there are close to 10,000 glaciers in the Indian Himalayas. This says, till 2003, the Gangotri glacier was retreating at 22 meters a year. Over the next two years, this slowed to nearly 12 meters. And between 2007 and June this year, the glacier has stood still. The government report goes on to cite the examples of the Siachen Glacier, which it says has not retreated much in the last 50 years. The 17-kilometer-long Dokriani Glacier, the most studied in India, continues to retreat steadily, not faster as the UN predicted. These claims, backed by a NASA study that suggests Himalayan glaciers are located at much higher altitudes, and have not felt the impacts of global warming. But the author of the original IPCC report stands firm. Yes, I've seen that report. Glaciers are definitely retreating, but their response time is different in different climatic settings. According to India's Environment Ministry, the Gangotri Glacier, the glaciers in the Himalayas, and the Ganga are not going to dry up and finish away and waste away anytime soon as the UN panel on climate change had forecast. In New Delhi, with camera person Manu Nair, Pallav Bagla for NDTV. Well, joining us now is Dr. R.K. Pachauri, the chairman of the IPCC from here in Delhi. Dr. Pachauri, what's your first reaction to the Environment Ministry's report? Well, I would like to uh, <laughs> ask, uh, where is the basis for this report? I mean, in a short period of time, largely with one scientist, who, whoever he may be and, you know, however distinguished he might be, um, the ministry comes to a conclusion of this kind, particularly when the sample is so small. And uh, when you know that there is receding of the glaciers, if, if they are receding, then I'd like to ask if it's not climate change, what's causing it? And why is it that climate change is causing melting of the Arctic ice? But, Dr. but for Pachauri, some reason... But Dr. Pachauri, this is, this is, this is the government's own uh, findings based uh, apparently on a lot of research done with various institutes. And it does have the government's no, stamp sorry. on it. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you questioning well, the, the credibility completely the then of this report? Well, I'm questioning these findings. They are totally wrong. This is one government. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change uses thousands of scientists it uses peer-reviewed literature. I'd like to see how these findings have been arrived at on the basis of literature that's been published in prestigious, credible journals. This is, if I may say so, voodoo science. This is not science. Well, this well, is Jairam, purely opinion forming. Well, well, the Environment Minister Jairam Ramesh says that the IPCC uh, is, is alarmist. Well, I mean, uh, he's, he's entitled to his views. A lot of people call uh, the IPCC very different from what he says. So, you know, he is entitled to his views, but I don't think he has any business questioning an, a body that has established its credentials over the last 21 years and whose reports are accepted by every government of the world, including the Indian government. But, but Dr. Pachauri, don't you think that you could perhaps uh, look at what the Environment Ministry's report is and, 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 and 
you know, look at your own report, see whether there's a, there's a meeting point between the two, uh, or are you just rejecting no, it outright? Sorry. Are you willing to sit down with the minister and no, say, no, okay, let's yeah. look at it? No, no, I, I will not sit down with the minister. I sit down with the minister very often. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. But what li I'd like to say is if this report is all that solid, let them publish it. Let it go through a peer review process. It can't be on the basis of two individuals, the minister and whoever has written this report, deciding on something that is so complex. So, you know, we are trivializing the science. <coughs> Well, uh, you know, we're just weeks so away I, I, from the big Copenhagen uh, conference, Dr. Pachori. How does something like this affect negotiations for us there? I don't think it has any direct impact. The negotiations are based on totally different uh, issues. But, um, I mean, I don't think this has any direct link at all. But what it certainly do, does is to create a sense of complacency that everything is fine. You know, this is really what the denialists want to tell us that climate change is uh, not for real. Uh, so you're sort of going against the face of observations on the, on the face of all the research that has been done for several years. So you know, right. I question um, uh, these findings completely. I mean, they don't make sense to me at all. Right, Dr. Pachori, thanks a lot for joining us uh, tonight. So that unprecedented face-off, perhaps, between the IPCC and the Indian government there on the issue of climate change.